Welcome back to the announcements and a happy Thanksgiving to you. <laughs> we have a message from the AHS yearbook team. So, unfortunately, this year, owing to COVID-19, we were unable to take photos for yearbook and for the like school year in general. Luckily, the AHS yearbook team has come up with submission forms on the AHS News and Resources page on Canvas. If you're a senior, you'll have the option to add your senior quote to it. And if you don't have access to professional photography, contact the yearbook team in the link below. All photos will be due before the end of the calendar year, which is December 31st, 2020. Keep a lookout for links coming from the AHS yearbook team. AHS Theater presents Clue, a comedy based on the 1985 movie, which was also based on the Hasbro board game. Watch this hilarious show on Friday the 20th or Saturday the 21st of November at 7.30 p.m. at home. Or on Sunday at 2 p.m. for their matinee show. You can find the links to purchase tickets on the AHS website. AMS is hosting a holiday ornament drive for Almeida Fire families until Friday, November 20th. Families will need all things holiday. Fake trees, holiday lights, menorahs, stockings, nativities, garlands, wreaths, everything. You can drop these off at the AMS or AHS main office. YMCA is offering a leaders in training camp for local teenagers between 16 and 18 who would like to work at YMCA Camp DeVore this summer. Throughout the program, students will go through leadership workshops, a conservation project, CPR training, and child abuse prevention. After completing the training, students will have the opportunity to work or volunteer this summer and that will help with their graduation requirements. If you have any questions or you want to apply, there's more information in the description. Queer Straight Alliance Club is up and running. QSA is a selfish and welcoming place to talk about community and identity. If you'd like to join or leave the club, contact Reba Crawford Hayes. Her email will be in the link below. The Textbook and Class Material Distribution Center is open today along with every Wednesday between 2.30 and 4.30 p.m. If you haven't picked up your yearbook yet, pick it up today, and if not, today, call the office to make arrangements to pick it up soon. Also, next Tuesday, the Material Distribution Center will be open on Tuesday rather than Wednesday from 2.30 to 4.30. The Student Tutor Center is open today from 11.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. You can access it on Canvas under AHS News and Resources. The Truth the Power Club is up and running. They will be producing podcasts relating to major problems or issues in the Rogue Valley. But wait, there's more. The Truth the Power Club will also be a springboard for community action projects to make our world a more just and beautiful place. We're calling on you, artists, musicians, writers, tech whizzes, journalists, and future revolutionaries. Want to learn more? The club will be today at 12.30 p.m. Club Zoom links can be found in the News and Resources page of Canvas. National Art Honor Society meets today at 10.30. Drama Club meets today at lunch. Truth to Power Club meets today from 12.30 to 1. Writers and Poets Club meets every Thursday at lunch. Moo Alpha Th Theta meets every third Friday of the month at 9 a.m. <laughs> Tap Dancing Club meets Fridays at lunch. Key Club meets every Monday at 3 p.m. Philosophy Club meets every day, every Tuesday at lunch. Big happy birthdays this week go out to Josephine Puckett, Leo Decker, and Liam Sturgill. Joe Jarvis, Amelia Boss, and AJ Balistrieri. Joshua Westfall, Ivy Holt, Noah Hudgen. Zadie Burke, Landon Holt, and Gabe Strong. Gavin White, Logan Rudder, Ramsey Cathy. 
Layla Bunker, Taylor High, and Chloe Kassenheiser, France. Asura Sarasades, Ryan Dean, and Michaela Moore. Hi, my name is Scarlett. Um, I'm a leadership student at Ashton High School, and um, I hope that you guys all have a great Thanksgiving Day weekend and Thanksgiving Day, however you choose to celebrate it, your family or heritage, whatever that looks like for you. Um, I just wanted to share, um, I am not um, native to North America, not indigenous to North America, um, but I think we should all take the time to recognize um, the people that are and um, all the false history that we're taught when we are younger about the Thanksgiving holiday and just recognize that, you know, not everybody celebrates it the same way as you and um, just be mindful and thankful for the land and everything that everyone who's lived on the land has been through. So we have a leadership student, um, her name is Mariela Reyes, and she um, was born in Mexico, and she was open to sharing about what her and her family do to celebrate the holiday. And since they moved from Mexico to America, um, her and her parents uh, celebrated it, how Americans do it, you know, just make dinner and, you know, have a family dinner. Um, but she says that her grandparents and um, the people in her town that she was born in, they all have farms, family farms, and um, they, to celebrate Thanksgiving, they're, they're celebrating the harvest of their farm. So they have close friends and workers and their family come and they play games, play music, dance, and they um, cook food with the food that they harvested. And it's, um, it sounds really fun, and I just think it's awesome that she shared that with us. Thank you so much, Mariella. So a few times while making this video, I accidentally said America when I meant the United States of America. Um, but I just wanted to clarify that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Um, I was a little bit nervous to film this video, but... I hope you all enjoyed it or got something out of it, and I hope that however you celebrate, you have a good time. Go. Hello, Grizz Nation. Mrs. Hayden here as the Ashland High School Leadership Advisor. Hey, thanks for taking that student survey. We've got some awesome feedback from about 700 of you, and we hear you. It's hard and it's stressful, and academics are heavy. So this part of the show, we're going to invite you to take a little time out and participate in a little activity. We invite you to take five minutes and picture your favorite moments this past month related to kindness. Yes, the screen says 10 minutes, but let's be honest, that's a little absurd. Have a great day and enjoy the rest of the show.
traditions that my family does on Thanksgiving is we get together with a bunch of family, eat Thanksgiving dinner, talk about what we're thankful for, and watch football. So um, normally for my Thanksgiving traditions, uh, my mom, my stepdad, and I either go down to Seattle, Washington, or host my um, cousins and aunt and uncle who uh, come from Seattle, Washington. And we basically just are there or they're here for like four to five days and we watch football on Thanksgiving and we eat delicious food. My mom makes the best cranberry sauce and my uncle makes the best turkey. So the food is one of my favorite things. And I just love uh, hanging out with my cousins and uh, being really annoying to them and uh, just making fun of them and teasing them. But uh, they know it's all love. And so yeah, th those are uh, my Thanksgiving traditions. Greetings, Ashland High School. Uh, what I'm thankful for is a family that loves to get outside and jump in leaf piles and be energetic because we all need more movement nowadays. I'm also thankful for my students and the ones that are really reaching out and trying to make a connection with me and so we can build that relationship and my past students who um, remember and frequently check in with me. Uh, those moments is what I live for and keep me moving. Thanks. Well, like everybody, I suppose I'm thankful for my family, but for this particular moment, I'm going to say that I'm thankful for the country that I live in. Uh, we have a constitution that has not made us perfect, but has given us the opportunity to correct our mistakes and really become a more perfect union. I'm very thankful to live in this country. survey you guys took a few weeks ago and a lot of students are struggling with social and mental health. We came up with four good habits to alleviate stress, anxiety, and depression. One is to set up a daily routine for yourself and you don't have to follow it word for word but being somewhat organized can help limiting stress from school. One good thing to integrate into your daily life is exercise like just going on walk outside. Number two being mindful throughout the day can increase happiness and limit anxiety. The opposite of being mindful is not paying attention to your actions and behaving from habit. Meditating is a helpful tool for mindfulness and concentration. Meditating before an exam is proven to increase student scores. Three good meditation apps are Headspace, Stop, Breathe and Think, and lastly the app Calm. Number three is take little breaks every hour from the screen when doing homework. Though it may seem like this is not important to do, by doing so it will increase productivity and motivation. Happy Thanksgiving! 
Hello students of AHS. Um, I'm just here to talk about one of the responses that we got, the questions in the student survey, um, which is about um, the cameras, the issue of cameras. So I just kind of want to address it and give a couple tips and tr tricks from leadership um, to make you feel more comfortable using them. So teachers are having a really hard time um, teaching to what they call a wall of names um, with people's um, cameras off, which I'm pretty sure everyone understands and know what, knows that because you're, you're all being asked to turn your cameras on constantly by your teachers. Um, so what we're asking right now is for people to go into their Zoom pro profile and upload a picture of themselves that you, you think is good um, to be there instead of just your name when, um, when your camera's off. Um, but so it's not a requirement now for you to have your camera on, um, but it could be if there's continued issues with it. Um, we really don't wanna go there um, and we're not intending to go there, um, but it is, it's way easier to teach, for the teachers to teach when they can actually see their students. Um, so uh, we, the, the survey we, we sent out had a lot of answers to why, why you keep your cameras off. Um, so I'm just gonna give some tips and tricks to the ones that we can, um, we can sort of combat. So uh, the first most common answer was that um, when you can see yourself, um, it's really distracting and you worry more about your self image and what you look like um, than really focusing on the class. Um, so a tip that I have for that is if you hit the, the three periods up in the corner of your cell, um, there's something that's hide self view, which will remove you from your screen which means you will only be able to see your classmates and your um, your teacher. This way you don't have to um, be distracted and looking at yourself, but you can still have your camera on. The second most common response was that um, uh, they don't, you don't want the teachers to see into your house. Um, so this is understandable. And what we can do is in Zoom, there's a, there's a link to having a green screen. So if you just, set up a green screen for a nice mountain or waterfall or something like that, that um, is in your background. Um, that way the teachers don't have to see in your house. The third most common response we got was that a lot of people are worried about um, other students pinning, um, other st students pinning uh, their classmates' cell. Um, so it takes up a large portion of their screen. Um, and so when you pin another student, um, to come up as the, the only part of your screen, the teacher gets notified. Um, so if you have another student's video pinned the entire class period, then um, the, the teacher gets notified and they want you to be paying attention to them so that they know that you're paying attention to the, to the, um, the video or whatever they're instructing. So um, they'll let, let the student know that they can't do that anymore. Um, and so they know what's going on and they can, they can stop it. If you feel uncomfortable about it, you can just say, if anyone's pinning me, um, please tell them to stop or whatever. Um, so this, the teachers know, so, um, they can, they can stop that. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, thanks AHS. Welcome to Michael and Noah's cooking show. Today we're going to be making pumpkin pie with our own recipe. All right. We add a decent amount of flour. <laughs> Eggs. <laughs> yeah. Sugar. Well, around a stick of butter. And begin mixing. <laughs> um, forgot to lock it down. My bad. Okay, um, if it's looking a little dry like this, um... Add a dash of milk. I added a tad too much milk, I'd say, so... If it's looking a little bit soft, we want to add a little bit more flour. So, let's, let's just... <laughs> oh, yeah. Once you have your dough, just... Plop it in there and just really start working it. 
We're now going to bake the pie shell for a couple minutes just so when we pour the uh, pumpkin in, it doesn't sink into our shell. Alright, now that we have our filling ready, here you want to you know, pour some in there, just like that. Might be a lot. Probably good. It's a good amount of cinnamon. The rest is pretty simple. You just pour it in here. Perfect. And throw it back in. Update everybody. The the pie is looking wonderful. Look at that. Yum. Alright, it's been about 35 minutes. Oh my god! Wow! It's right from the best part of the pie. Taste test. Okay, the uh, taste test. Hey, Grizzly Nation. It is your Athletics and Activities Director, Carl Kemper, and I am here for what I guess we're calling the Kemper Huddle. Um, just wanted to say to you, high school is a really special time in your life, and this is time you can't get back. And right now, a lot of cool, fun things are being taken away from you. I mean, at high school, we learned reading, writing, writing, and arithmetic. But I know that the main reason that a lot of you come to school each day is to see your friends and be involved in your athletics and activities. And a lot of the fun stuff's being taken away right now. I mean, none of us signed up for this. None of us pictured this to be what the 2021 school year would look like. And it's totally unfair to you. So, I want to give you all permission to be human. Um, sometimes it's okay to admit that things are not okay. Give yourself permission to ask for help and seek the help you need and reach out to other people. I mean, this right now is your reality and it's up to you what you do with it. We say it's always a great day to be a grizzly, but some days are greater than others. And, um, when we talk about being a great day, it's not like we just show up and it's a great day to be a grizzly. It's a decision we make each day to make things positive, to make the best of our opportunities, and to make the day great. And that's super challenging right now, I know. I miss seeing you all in person. Um, I love being at high school every day with kids everywhere doing awesome things, but we don't get to do that right now. So. Do what you can to make the best of things, be positive, try to have the best attitude you can, ask for help as you need it, and hang in there. This will be behind us soon. And one of the most important things you can do is to wear a mask, socially distance, wash your hands. We all have heard this a lot, but we have to do it so we can get this behind us and we can get back to being at school. Um, because I miss high fives, I miss fist bumps, I miss hugs, all those things um, that make us uh, connected to each other. And so let's uh, do what we can to fix this and uh, hope to see you all soon. Much love. Hello, I'm Tripp. I'm Lindsay. And today we're going to be talking about how you're going to be playing charades in your advisory or CCR classes. The rules are no texting and no talking. The teachers are going to be receiving a list of things to, for the students to act out, numbered 1 through 42. They will randomly give a student a number, and that is going to be what the student has to act out in front of the class. Once the student has their word, the teacher will set a 60-second timer. During the 60 seconds, anybody can guess what the given word was. Whoever guesses correctly wins. Along with the list of words, a list of motions will be provided for the teachers so that the students can briefly describe non-verbally how or what they're going to be acting out in front of the class. 
Please note that all student-teacher interactions when they're getting the number to rejoin the lobby need to remain private. No one else but you and the teacher can know what you're going to be acting out. Thank mm -hmm. you. 